Being a creator on YouTube is a fun way to unleash your creativity, use your voice, and build a community. If you're looking to create videos for YouTube and maybe make money while doing it, there are a few things you need to know. To upload videos to YouTube, you'll need to follow our community guidelines and local copyright law. If you want to make money with your channel, you'll need to be part of the YouTube Partner Program and understand our advertiser-friendly guidelines. Here's a quick overview of each one of these guidelines and policies. First, YouTube's Community Guidelines. Our community guidelines are designed to ensure our community stays protected. They set out what's allowed and not allowed on YouTube and apply to all types of content, including videos, comments, links, and thumbnails. These are mostly rules you'd expect, like don't harass others or post ultra-violent videos. But they also include some YouTube-specific rules, like not posting a bunch of repetitive comments and more. If you violate these guidelines, you'll first receive a warning and then a strike if it happens again, which will limit your access to some features. If you get three community guideline strikes in a 90-day period, your account might be terminated. Check out the link in the description for a complete list of YouTube's community guidelines. Next, copyright law. Copyright isn't something created by YouTube, but all creators have to follow local copyright laws in order to upload videos. Copyright is a legal right that says you can't use someone else's original work in your videos without their permission. This includes someone else's videos, music, or other creative work. YouTube is required by law to enforce this. That's why we have our copyright strike system and content ID. If a copyright owner sends YouTube a valid legal complaint known as a takedown notice, we take down your content and you receive a copyright strike. You have three ways to resolve this. You can wait 90 days for it to expire. You can contact the person who took your video down and ask them to retract their complaint. Or you can submit a counter notification if you feel like your video was taken down due to a mistake or misidentification. If you get three copyright strikes in a 90-day period, your account might be terminated. Content ID, on the other hand, is an automated enforcement system that lets some of the world's biggest rights holders find their work when it's being used by others on YouTube and claim it. Once it's claimed, they can choose to track it, monetize it, or block it. Content ID claims on your videos do not result in copyright strikes and don't affect your channel's access to features. We also have tools that let you take action to resolve Content ID claims, like trimming out the claimed content. You can find these tools and see any active copyright strikes or Content ID claims against you in YouTube Studio. Also note that there are some regional exceptions that do allow you to include someone else's work, so be sure to read up on what counts as fair use and the public domain. To learn more about understanding copyright, how to protect your own copyrighted content, and how to avoid violating copyright laws, check out the resources in the description. YouTube's community guidelines and copyright law are the two things you need to know to upload content to YouTube. Note that community guidelines strikes and copyright strikes are separate and don't affect each other. Finally, let's dive into the YouTube Partner Program and Advertiser-Friendly Guidelines, the two things you need to know to make money off your content. The YouTube Partner Program, also known as YPP, gives creators access to more resources and to our monetization features. To apply for YPP, you must be in good standing with YouTube, have at least 1,000 subscribers, and have 4,000 valid public watch hours in the last 12 months. You can check your progress towards hitting these goals and apply to YPP in the Monetization tab of YouTube Studio. To be in YPP, you also have to follow YouTube's monetization policies. We built these policies with the goal of rewarding creators who work hard on unique and original content. That means we don't allow channels into the program that are auto-generating repetitive content or just reusing content already posted by others, even if they have permission. You can review a full list of monetization policies with the link in the description. Once you're in YPP, you can make money from features like channel memberships, super chat, or even create your own merch once you meet their eligibility criteria. You can also run ads on your videos. If you want to make money from ads on YouTube, your content must follow YouTube's advertiser-friendly content guidelines. Advertiser-friendly content is appropriate for most audiences. It does not feature sensitive content such as sexually suggestive content or drug consumption. Some brands are willing to show their ads on more mature content, 
but if your video contains mature themes, it might receive less revenue from ads overall, because fewer brands are interested in showing ads on your video. To learn more about advertiser-friendly guidelines, check out the link in the description. We hope this overview helps you better understand what's needed to upload and make money on YouTube. Thanks for watching.